welcome back to my channel it is so weird to be saying that if not subscribe to my channel obviously hit that subscribe button down below so that you know when i upload videos on my channel for many of you who are new to my channel hi my name is stacy nice to meet you i do natural hair and makeup videos on this channel but this is the first time in a long time that i've actually sat down and talked to the camera instead of me like just doing voiceovers or doing like my makeup montage videos so today i kind of just wanted to do a talking hair type video because on fridays i upload videos about hair and on mondays i do my makeup videos but i don't really have a tutorial for you guys this week because last week i did the three strand twist out um hairstyle and it's still in as you can see so i don't really have a tutorial for you guys this week but next week hopefully there will be either a nice DIY video coming, maybe, I don't know, I guess you'll just have to see, or there will be another hair tutorial. My hair has been like this for the past week and a half almost, and it's still looking pretty good. Like the front is still kind of stretched a little bit more because I did have like little buns in my hair, but it still looks really good and it's getting a little bit frizzy. But it's not that bad. As you can see, it's still very defined and it's very nice. And I'll probably just keep it in until I decide to wash it this later this weekend. But let me know how your holidays are going. I hope that you're having good holidays, stuff like that. So let's get into the hair business of this video. This is just a random spontaneous video that I decided to make about hair or whatever. A little bit about my hair texture. I have 4B, 4C using air quotes because I don't really like to texturize my hair but for the 4C type hair it's a little bit looser in the front and it's very thick in the back but I do have very nice curls and I do have soft hair and if you've seen a lot of my older videos you would have seen my hair it was like a little bit lighter on the tips and that is because about almost two years ago I actually dyed my hair and I've been cutting out all the brown pieces like I decided not to re-dye it like darker or anything just because I just wanted to regrow to grow out that light brown and I've done a pretty good job there's still like little tiny parts like here that it's still light and I'm just growing that out but this is like two years of growth for me and it's just so crazy how much my hair can grow in two years but I'm really trying to grow it out before I even dye it ever again or even think of doing anything else to my hair. Now my hair is actually low porosity, I think. And if you don't know anything about hair porosity, it's basically, at least in my words, it's basically how well your hair absorbs water into the follicles. And for me, I did the porosity test and everything and I could, basically I found out that I have low porosity hair. If you want to find out how to do the low porosity test, you can basically just Google it or watch other people's videos on how they do the whole hair porosity test. But I did that and I found out that I have low porosity hair and I could tell that my hair was different the way that it was holding water. So my hair does not hold water that well and it's hard for hair to actually, oh not hair, it's hard for water to soak into my hair. And so I have to use like light oil products and like things that are high in water content but still will be able to hold that moisture into my hair and since I've learned about my low porosity I've been able to treat my hair a lot better than I did when I just started out just wearing my hair a lot more natural so that also has to do with a lot of the shininess of my hair people keep asking me how I keep my hair so shiny I use coconut oil products a lot of coconut oil products have helped with my hair I know a lot of people are allergic and I know that there's alternatives for coconut oil but I'm not allergic to coconut oil and it's a very good oil for my hair so I use it another oil I would recommend is castor oil or olive oil depending on how thick your hair is and how much oil you can hold in your hair without breaking out those are two oils that I would suggest but I definitely use coconut oil so yeah but I think that's it that I'm gonna really talk about in this video today <laughs> like I said this is kind of like a spontaneous impromptu type hair talking video and I just wanted to sit down with you guys and just talk because I don't really talk in my videos besides my voiceovers like I mentioned in the beginning of this video so I really wanted to 
just kind of make this a more casual type video instead of my normal tutorials. So if you like this video and you want more talking videos, give me some suggestions of what I should talk about in other videos so that I actually have something planned to talk about in my next videos. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.